Don't call anybody. Oh, and that was the buy two. I have voices in my head. They counsel me. They understand. They talk to me. I didn't think I'd make a video about this asshole. I mean, like, I've received a request from NAMS and Orbital Units too. You know, we finally debated on Skype. Well, it's not really much of a debate. I mean, I didn't really, I wasn't really on my laptop at the time. I don't own internet at my own house. And, you know, I never really heard much about Chris Chan outside of the, the Sonic Chew comics. I mean, he, he was the one who created Sonic Chew. And most of you guys probably don't even know who Sonic Chew or Chris Chan is. And that's fine. The guy that you just saw rampaging, stomping his way outside of GameStop, and pepper spraying one of the employees, was Chris Chan. And there's a reason for why he did it. Okay? You're not going to believe me. And you wish this wasn't true, but it's true, okay? The reason why he did it is because he doesn't like Sonic Boom. And one of his major complaints, and wait for it, wait for it, he does not appreciate how they change Sonic's arms to blue instead of traditional sepia tone color. And this blew my fucking mind. I have no problem if you want to criticize the designs of a character or criticize a game or, the sh or a show. I have no problem. I might disagree or agree with you. And I might consider your opinions to be utterly stupid like complaining about Sonic fucking arms being blue. I mean, that's a minor complaint. Some people usually complain more about Knuckles being ultra brolic for no apparent reason. Like, they believe that he swallowed one of the Chaos Emeralds and all of a sudden he's a big, tough guy. Mm. But holy shit! Dude, this is, this is completely immature. I see more maturity from kids with Down Syndrome. Like, holy shit. This is just mind-blowingly stupid and mind-blowingly immature. Oh, oh. It reminds me of that one video where this feminist complained about these protesters. You know, there, there weren't even that many protesters, like three or four. You know, protesting about anti-abortion. And she had to vandalize the signs because, hell, you know, these people are, you know, racist, sexist pigs. You know, complete manginas because they're anti-abortion. Look, as much as I hate those people who are against abortions, I wouldn't go as far as to vandalize their fucking signs. So sorry, I'm on their side. Lesser of two evils. But back to Chris Chan. I mean, like, wow. This is incredibly fucking immature and stupid. There's really nothing else for me to add. Like, fuck. I know Chris Chan is loved by lots and lots of YouTubers, or fans, or whatever, and I might receive some attention from the fans. And you know, I'm not disrespecting his work, okay? I don't care what Chris Chan does in his work. If he makes pornography, that's fine. If he draws art, that's fine. I love art. I'm a big fan of fan art. You know, I love um, art, f fan art of 
My Little Pony, yes, I said it, Sonic, Five Nights at Freddy's, Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z. I love fan art because there's just so many things that you can create. You know, you can have Vegeta having sex with Piccolo. That's the power of fan art. Mm. But what Chris Chan did was not only immature, it's irresponsible, and quite frankly, incredibly fucking stupid. I don't know what the charge is going to be against Chris Chan. Maybe it's going to be at most um, a month or two in prison. Or maybe he'll lose his rights to vote. Or I, I don't necessarily know much about, uh, about courts or punishments. But, uh, again, you know, Chris, what Chris Chan did cannot go unpunished. He was immature, and quite frankly, whatever it comes to him, you know, as long as it's not extremely harsh, he deserves it. And if you don't believe me, Links in the descriptions. You can take a look. Till then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.